Hi, this is Midun VP from SAP Technology Rig. In this presentation, I am going to show you how to create an auditor service from a SOAP service using HCI and then consume it in a mobile application using SAP mobile services. I'd be using WebID to create a mobile application. So the first step is to use HCI and create auditor service. So let's go to HCI cockpit, go to design and create a new integration package. Provide a name for the package. And then click on add and choose auditor service. Provide a name for the artifact. Then click OK. The next step is to import the Vistal file. So browse the Vistal file. I have stored a Vistal file in my machine. So it is sales order dot Vistal. Next step is to choose an operation and then define a primary key. Click on finish. Then define a query for the auditor service. And then define an indication process. So in this step, I have to define some configurations. This step might be simplified in the future. So I'm replacing the content modifier with a mapping. So those who are familiar with HANA Cloud integration knows this step. So this is nothing but an iFlow in HCI. So I'm modifying the default iFlow here. Then define the SOAP receiver channel. And finally, define the response mapping. Click OK. And save and deploy the package to HCI. So once it is deployed, we could find it under the monitor tab. So customer list demo, click on started and we can find the endpoint URL. So that is the auditor endpoint URL. So to access that, I have to provide my backend credentials. So 
so you can find the auditor collection name and this is the data so the next step is to use HCP mobile services and configure an app so let's go to the HCPMS cockpit click on applications and add an application provide an application ID it should be unique this ID will be used when we create a app using web IDE then choose the type of the application it is a hybrid app so I'm going to create a capsule Cordova based application click on configure and define the backend for the application so the backend is nothing but the auditor service which we created using NCI so put the base URL there and then define the authentication type and then click on save so the next step is to use web IDE and create a mobile app then install that application in the device and run the application so it will get the data from the backend in this fashion so let's go to web IDE and create a project from a template I'm choosing the master detail capsule template provide the project name click next choose the service URL I'm choosing my HCI system so I have uh, defined a destination in my HCP system that's why I am able to get the HCI auditor details here click next so here what I'm doing is I'm defining the properties in the mobile application UI so I'm mapping the OData properties with the UI elements so I'm choosing some fields from my data click on finish then right click on the project go to project settings and provide the device configuration details so you can give any app name here and provide the app ID so app ID is the one which we given when we configured an app in HCPMS now choose the platform I'm choosing iOS so the application which I'm creating will run on iOS and providing a capsule plugin I'm choosing the logon plugin to get a login screen and finally run this app in the iOS simulator so in the background what Verbody is doing it is creating the Codo project adding the plugins which I chose and build the app and installing it into my iOS simulator so this is my login screen of the application so let's log into the app it will create a registration in the HCPMS
click on register disable the passcode now it is pulling the data from the backend so you can see the data here so if I go back to my HCPMS cockpit and go to registrations I can find the user which I just registered thank you